fill a vacancy in District 3, Post 1. And we need to fill that position. Yes, ma'am. Mr. President, for District 3, I would like to have to come up front, sir. Please. To make yeah. my nomination. I would like to, for District 3, I would like to nominate, I can't think about calling this, Mr. Hope Hampton, would you step up front? He would be a great representative for District, District 3, sir. <coughs> Come up front, let everybody yeah. see who you are. He knows a lot about the government. He has worked in the city council, and he does a lot in that area of District 3. I think he would represent that area real good. So I'm going to let him talk about himself to you, President. Let me sit down. Okay, before we do that, is there any other nominations for District 3? You don't need nobody else. What's your name, sir? My name? Yes. Hope Hampton. That's H-O-K-E. Hampton. Hope. 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 Not Coke. Yes. Hope. Okay. And that's no joke. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We have you. Y'all already heard Mr. Mr. Hampton. Y'all already gave this field so I can finish. So, does anybody, does anybody else? For District 3? Give me a but here and none, I guess Mr. Hampton will be representative of District 3. Are you a Democratic Party member? Are you a Democratic Party member? <laughs> Been one all my life. I was 16. I understand that, but are you, are you a member? Are you a Democratic Party member? Have you paid the difference? I'll pay it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you take food stamp, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> $15. Okay, here now we're going to post a nomination with one name, Mr. Hampton. Mr. Hampton, uh -huh. you and Rick need to stop talking while I'm having this meeting. I am too. Do we listen to the chairman? Understand me. Y'all know who I am. Y'all know me and I know y'all. When I'm having this meeting, y'all need to stop talking. Yes, sir. Okay. Ms. Hampton, congratulations uh, for being uh, elected to uh, that position. We sure you do a great job. Thank you. Now we have a position. We have a situation that's. And I don't know how to explain this. The last meeting, there was a position for in District One, District One, and Mr. Whitfield was here and he volunteered for that position. Is, is Mr. Whitfield here tonight? No, sir. No. Uh, is anyone else interested in that position? I'm just going to ask the question straight out. Yes, Ms. Cody? Uh, permission to come up front again, sir? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Whitfield didn't come to the last meeting either, sir, that we had in a current meeting. So I would like to nominate Miss Miss Gordon. Miss Gordon, will you come up front, please? So Mr. Whitfield's name is not. He was. He didn't come to the last meeting. Okay. Miss Gordon, will you tell everybody your name? And where you're from and how long you've been in the city of Valdosta 
and she is a Democratic man. She just paid her dues. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Liz Gordon. I'm married to my husband here, Lewis. Cool. I'm retired from housing that I dealt in for the last past 30 years or more. Right now, I'm just a stay-at-home farmer. I was the secretary of the local Lance Valdosta NAACP, which we sued the city and the county for black representation. I know this young man very well, and he do my heart proud to know that he's running for mayor. And when I talked to Ms. Cogan last week, she just told me, she didn't act, she told me. <laughs> and everybody know this. And so here I am. What I do on a daily basis, I take care of goats and chickens. <laughs> In 2008, I was the egg champion for Lyons County. Uh, <laughs> <I'm an egg laughs> That's me. We have nine districts. Six. Six, I'm sorry, six districts. Mm -hmm. And District 1 uh, members are. <coughs> and each district has four members. Okay? So that, that's position. She uh, just nominated for them. And District 3. Okay, District 1 is when it's vacant. District 3 is Willa Rayford. The gentleman sitting right there in front, in front of you. That's his district. Now, I'm trying to find out where are the districts. Well, the, where are the districts? Is there a map or something that you have? I don't, I don't have a map, and that's a very good question. Uh, I can. I, can you help us out here? I can. Our county is divided into three county commission districts, which are number one is basically across the center of the county plus Naylor. District number two is at the north of the county and district number three is at the south of the county and the university, sort of like a little C-shape. Mm -hmm. Then we have two super districts. One is the east side of the county and one of the west side of the county. And then we have an all county elected chairman. So on our county commission at the commission office, there's the chairman which is elected countywide, two super district commissioners, and three um, individual commissioners. Our body of the Lowndes County Democratic Party reflects that same division. So we have four people elected from each of the county commission districts, four from the super districts, and four at large to make our county commission 24 members, or our Lowndes County Democratic Party 24 members. These 24 members decide the policies that this body will follow will, if we're going to endorse a candidate, will be the people who actually get to cast a vote for that, and are the people who cast votes to, for the people that elect, uh, represent us at the state level. So the 24 people that we elect as our body are the legal voters for the Democratic Party in this county. Okay. So that's what we're filling two vacancies right now. So Mr. Hampton has filled one, and we have one in District 1, which we now appear to have perhaps two candidates for. Did I do that correctly? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. So maybe your actual question is, where are the divisions between the districts? For that, I recommend going to Valor GIS, V-A-L-O-R-G-I-S, online. It's... It's, it, it, go there, you'll find exactly where the divisions are. It's not something you can explain in a few words in a meeting, but go to that map, you will find where exactly the divisions are. Is that a dot .com or dot .org or what is it? Just search for Valor GIS, V-A-L-O-R-G-I-S. Okay, thank you. I believe it is a dot .com. The other way that you can find is go to the Secretary of State's website, to the My 
sos.ga.gov and look up your voter registration and the information there for all of your districts. So you can find out if you're in House District 176 and should be voting. You can find out what city council districts you're in. You can find out what county commission district in it. It will say on your voter registration. If you have the card and you're carrying it in your wallet, it should say all that information on that card. Ms. Gretch, is, is, it, is it possible to get a map so when we have, uh, have this meeting, we can post that? Yes, map? yes we can. Okay, we can have... There's one on the website which we could print out and have here, yes. Okay, can you do that? Yes. Okay, thank you. Because that's the question I have, so I'll take care of that. Thank you. Okay. Any, any other nominations for District, for, uh, district 1? <clears throat> any other nominations? Yes, sir. I vote that we cancel Mr. Whitfield because he doesn't bother to come. Yes. We just have one. We just have one. Thank you, sir. We now just have one candidate for that position. That's Ms. Lewis, we stop again. Oh, Dr. Dr. Allen? Uh, I thought you were asking for hands to vote in favor. <laughs> Do it now. I thought you were already calling the vote. No, I just wanted about to see you again. This is the only count that we have for that position. All in favor? <coughs> I move the nomination. To, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Move the nominations be closed. I move the nomination to be closed on that one said name. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your service. <laughs>